Welcome to Detroit, where the humans become mindless droids and the mindless droids become human. See what I did there? Yeah, I'm kind of a comedic genius, I guess you could say, if you really wanted to stretch out the definition of comedic. What is up, everybody? How y'all doing today? Just be Frankie here with a brand new video for you guys. So if you don't know, Detroit Become Human is a game where your choices have consequences towards the end game of the story. It is very well possible to get all your characters to make it to the end of the story and have a happy ending. Not that kind of happy ending. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't look it up. I'm serious. I just said don't look it up. What are you doing? But no, no. Come back to the video. Come back to the video. No, stop. We're watching We're watching Detroit Become Human. Okay. Just make sure. Just make sure. But yeah, all your characters can live to the very end or they could expire before the story even gets to start. When I first got this game, I actually managed to do the perfect ending. I played it extremely safe and was able to get the perfect ending for all of my characters. It was a lot of work and it took a long time, but that's not what we're doing today. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. No, today... We're choosing violence. I don't want peace. I want problems always. That's right. Today we play Detroit Become Human as an absolute menace to society. Let's go. This is Connor, an android sent in by Cyberlife to a hostage situation to save some spoiled brat named Emma. She was currently being held by their family android who had recently became defective. The reasons why aren't important. What's important is that I make sure not to save this fish that fell out of its tank. This is hands down the most evil and menacing thing I could ever do, and I was ready to end the video here. Unfortunately, the YouTube algorithm doesn't like it when you make a 4 minute video after you've uploaded an hour long substitute scary Sunday, so the video must go on. And luckily for me, the sight of this mother crying for someone to save her daughter from an android only for her to come to the horrifying realization that they've sent an android to help her really put me, and Connor for that matter, in a much better mood. Just look at him trying hard not to laugh at the irony of it all. As a detective android, you're meant to investigate the scenario to better your chances of success. However, this is my absolute menace playthrough, so instead I grabbed an officer's pistol and headed out guns blazing. This is how it went. I didn't think I'd have to pull out the riz this early in the video, but here we go. My name is Connor. What about you? What is your name? Daniel. That's the name they gave me. Stay back. Hey. He saying stay back. He got a gun. I'm kind of scared for my life right now. I'm not moving nowhere. I wish I wasn't actually scared because I'm an android. Also because this is a video game, but mostly because I'm an android. But I'll be damned if I was going to let that spoiled brat Emma get me killed on my first day of the job. I respectfully, my distance, I was not going to bother this man. He had a mission. He was determined. <laughs> man's really talking to him from across the courtyard. My man's really said. Fortunately for me, though, I am an android that is a master negotiator. Are you armed? No. Nah. I don't have a gun. You're lying. I guess you're gonna have to die, y'all. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. I don't think they'd listen to me. So all I had to do was point out to the android, hey, you're being really stupid. And that was a surefire tactic to make sure that he let go of the little girl and everybody got away safe. This is a well-known tactic called reverse psychology and is a level 1000 brain move. This tactic worked perfectly, but surprisingly and seemingly out of nowhere for no reason, the android still decided to take his own batteries out prematurely. And just like P. Diddy, he was taking the child with him. I honestly probably could have saved the little girl too if I didn't have my slow motion running on. Although the SWAT team was unreasonably upset with me, it was hard for me to see this as anything other than a win. Sure, I didn't save the little girl, but what I gained in experience, arguably more valuable than a child's life, if you really think about it. With the intro mission out of the way, it was time to get introduced to the other two playable characters. Kara is a housekeeping android that just got repaired and reset after her owner, Toby, decided to play with her like I used to play with my sister's Barbies. 
by ripping them limb from limb and then hiding the body parts around the house. And no, I had a perfectly normal childhood. Why do you ask? Our third protagonist is Marcus. He is a caregiver android for a famous painter, more wrinkly Professor Xavier. Their intro missions aren't really anything special and are actually kind of boring. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Damn, Carl, I didn't know you was packing that shmeat like that. The most exciting thing Carl does is find Toby's drugs and gets caught trying to sell them on the black market. Hey, yo, what are you doing, man? I didn't know you was like that. Do it again. The most exciting thing Marcus does is watch this preacher predict how I intend to play the game. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You yes. are the one who will destroy Detroit. I appreciate the acknowledgement. Thank you so much for that. And then paint a picture of me whenever I have Taco Bell. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and I guess Professor Xavier has a son that wastes all his allowance money to buy drugs and is getting very desperate for cash, but I doubt that's relevant to the story and is something that's most definitely not going to cause problems later on. This is what us folks call in the biz, foreskin, or something like that. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Real gut-wrenching stuff. This reminds me of that one time I took my son to the mall and he was whining the entire time. So I pushed him down the escalator. When he didn't immediately get back up, I yelled at him and I almost started crying because he wasn't breathing at all. And then I remembered, I don't have a son and carried on with my day. We return to Connor as he's looking for his new partner, Mr. Krabs. Seriously, this is the same actor who plays Mr. Krabs. He's also in Pet Cemetery 2, which was one of my favorite scary movies back in the day, but is undoubtedly older than the majority of my subscribers. Anyway, Mr. Krabs doesn't like me because I dumped his drink on the floor, but it's not my fault I'm allergic to alcohol, and I have to pour it on the floor so it doesn't get me sick. Unfortunately, it was too late. The alcohol entered my android bloodstream and made me incapable of helping in this investigation. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks for the ride. Great party. Wait, Lieutenant. I can't stay if you leave. As much as it breaks my heart, this is where we part ways. I just need five minutes to finish my investigation. You spill a man's drink. You piss him off all evening. And then you ask for a favor? Fuck you. So now we return to Kara, and now it's starting to get pretty good. So for the next few missions, I'm just going to let the missions play out with minimal interference, just so you can experience the whole thing for yourself. Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Is you gonna eat your food or not? Never tired. Never sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think. It's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your 
fucking fall! Hey, yo, she on that Michael Jackson diet. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. I never was too good at following orders. Her long time. She you stay out of this, or you'll be next. <laughs> You thought this was gonna be a fair fight? Daddy! Good, Alice. That's enough! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? Are you gonna shoot a human? Welcome to Detroit. Oh, scary! Oh, 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 shiver my timbers! That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? Did you leave the light on in the studio? Dang it, Professor Xavier. You always do this. I didn't even go in there without you. No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Leo. Oh, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't... Oh, you know, just a robotic dick. Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? I guess I forgot to tell you. I want problems! Always! No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. <laughs> Leo. Oh my god. You don't sound very sad, Professor Xavier. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. 
Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! That is going to do it all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you think about using this new format. I decided to do something new for today's video. I felt like playing some video games, but I also felt like making a video, so I figured might as well do the same thing at the same time. Should I do more of these? Do you want to see a part two to me being an absolute menace in Detroit Become Human? Because it gets more crazier. Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.